Look, I've been there, and I know some of you feel like digital products are just too complicated to make. You're wondering how people launch them so fast while you're still staring at a blank screen. Or maybe you're overthinking everything, trying to make it perfect and nothing ever gets finished and you never get started. So let's fix that. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn a simple idea or even a plain PDF into a ready-to-sell digital product using an AI-powered app called Gamma. First, I'll show you how to design a beautiful product with zero design skills. Second, you'll learn how to customize it to match your brand and make it feel pro. Third, we'll cover how to export, share, or sell it online within minutes. Everything I'm showing you today is free to try. You'll find the link to the Gamma app in the description and the pinned comments. And if you want to build your digital products with one-on-one -on -one guidance from me, start to finish, there's a link to apply for that down in the description as well. A big thank you to Gamma for sponsoring this video. All right, let's jump in. Real quick before we dive in, let's talk about why this matters. If you're trying to grow a brand, get clients, or start an online business, you need digital products and lead magnets. A great lead magnet gives your audience something valuable for free, and in return, you get their email or contact information, which then allows you to follow up, build trust, and offer even more value later or upsell them once you have your finished digital product. It's how I've built a real connection with my audience. I have thousands of downloads for my lead magnets and digital products, and I generate new leads and subscribers every single day with this method. P.S. I also make money from this. So yeah, learning how to make lead magnets and digital products fast, that's a superpower for anyone trying to create anything online in 2025. So what is the Gamma app? It's a smart design tool that helps you build presentations, websites, and digital products in minutes. You don't need to know design. You don't need to fight with layouts or fonts. You just paste your text, upload a file, or start fresh, and Gamma makes it look amazing. It even adds custom images that match your style automatically. I'd like to point out that Gamma has a great free account. I've been using it for months. It's a must-try AI tool because it's going to 100% save you time, help you stand out, help you get more downloads on those lead magnets and more sales with your digital products. So using the links down below, I want you to head over to the Gamma app site and sign up for a free account. You can either sign up with Google or you can use any other email. You also don't even need to put in any credit card information. So once you've logged in, you should see a view like this and we are going to start creating the easiest and quickest way possible. I want you to come over here to the top of the screen and click on create new. All right, so here it says create with AI. How would you like to get started? Paste in text, generate, import a file or URL. And below that you can see your recent prompts. So you can see that I've been using this to create some expert guides here. And these two, I was just running tests on. So I want to do the same thing with you guys and just walk you through the process. So first, let's start with the most popular option. I want you guys to come up here to the center and click on this generate option. And what this is gonna do is allow us to create our gamma from a prompt. So we don't need to upload anything. We're gonna create it right inside of gamma. At the top, you're gonna see that there are different templates that you can use. And this is going to dictate what the output is from gamma, right? So if you select presentation, it'll give you a presentation. If you select a web page, it'll make a web page for you. If you select a document, it will create a document for you. And if you select socials, it'll actually create static posts for socials that you can use. Now, below that, you've got this card option. Now, cards are basically like the slides or the pages inside of your document, right? And you can select up to 10 cards, which is awesome. And this is with the free account. Most tools like Canva AI are hard to manage this. At least I had some issues with that, right? I couldn't get more than two pages. This will give you 10 pages and you can actually fill that with valuable information, right? So your guide or whatever you're gonna use this for will actually be pretty awesome if you work on it. And if you want to upgrade, you can always get 15 cards, 20 cards. You could do 50 cards. You could write like a small little book almost with this. <laughs> but um, let's go check out this option here, which is the page style. Now, right now, because it's a presentation, you've got three page styles. You've got default, traditional, and tall. But if we change this, for example, to a web page, you'll see that the page style is gone. But if we go to document, you'll see that now there is like different page styles. So you can have page list, letter, and A4. And just it, the same thing applies for socials, right? So you can do portrait, square, stories. Let's go back to presentation. Next to that, right next to the default, uh, the page style, you've got the language settings. So if you drop this down, you'll see that 
there are a whole bunch of options for languages that you can select. Right now, we're going to leave it on English US. And below this, we have example prompts. So we could just use an example prompt for this video because I want to actually dive into the other features. So let me quickly do something with one of these example prompts. You could also shuffle these, which is cool. So you could play around until you find something similar to what you want to do and maybe start there. So we could do this new customer onboarding for a company. So let's click on that. Let's uh, generate the outline. And we have eight cards selected. I could have selected 10, which would have been cool, but it's basically going to do the same thing, right? It'll give you two more cards if we select 10. And you can actually add more cards after the outline has been done. So below, you'll see that the outline is starting to you know, populate. We're starting to get all the different cards or the pages, whatever you guys want to call it. And let's say we wanted to add two more cards. We can click here on this add card button and add more context to this. For now, because we ran the prompt this way, we'll just leave it at eight. So below the card options, you have your theme settings, and this is going to allow you to change up the look and feel and the font on your gamma output. So be sure to check these all out. If you want to see more themes, you can come over here to view more, and there are a bunch of different themes that you can work with. Now below that, you have the content settings. So here you have three different options you can select. You've got brief, medium, and detailed. Right now it's set to medium. You can see that there it says a few concise paragraphs. Detailed is going to give you multiple detailed paragraphs. And then brief is just short sentences. So depending on what you are trying to build with Gamma, you may want to change up all these different settings, right? The theme, the content. Below that, you have your image source. So you can either select AI images, or you can scroll through this list here and just pick from these different options, right? Below that, you have an image style. So you can describe the color, the style, or the mood that you want in your images. And below this, you can see that we can select the AI image model that we're going to use. So you have Flux Fast, you have Flux Context Fast, then you have Imagine 3 Fast, so that's from Google, and then you have Luma Photon Flash, and these are all available with the free version that you guys are using. Now below that, you can see that if you have Plus, you get access to way more models. You can even see like Leonardo AI is in here, Ideagram, and then below that, you actually have access to Dolly 3 from OpenAI. And they've got GPT image. Now, this GPT image is the image generation that everybody wants, right? Because ChatGPT does this really well, where it can output pictures with text in it, right? So this is actually awesome that they have this incorporated in here. All right, so we've looked at everything. I think I'm going to leave it on flux fast for now. Let's just see what we get from this. And then let's come down here to the generate button and let's generate. Normally, I speed up this process in my videos, but Let's leave it at the actual speed so you guys can see how quick this is and also see how awesome it is. Like watching this build out my lead magnets, my guides, and just anything I use this for, this part here for me is so satisfying, just seeing what it's doing. It's like a, I could honestly watch this for hours, but it doesn't last that long. It's literally like in a minute, this will be done. In less than a minute, we've got it ready to go. Now let's scroll up to the top of the page and I want to check this out here. So let's see how this all looks. Come over to the top right and click on this present button. Here you can see the first slide. It's got a little plug and play option here to add your company. I'm not sure if I like this image too much, but let's go on to the next slide. You can see some little points, right? So why onboarding matters and it breaks it down into four separate points. And here you can see kind of the beauty of why this tool is so cool. So it's added an image to the left. It's broken things down with icons to the right. It's done the same thing here. And the images are actually making sense with the content on the slides. So let's just go through this all and you can see these are great slides. I think we have to look over all this stuff. Obviously we built this off of a prompt, but as I go through this, you'll see that this is pretty good. So this is the last card that we had. Let me exit out of this view. So just hit the escape button if you want to exit out of that. And there's actually something I want to point out here. At the top, you've got the share option. You click on that, you're going to see that you can uh, export this and you can export it as a PDF, as a PowerPoint, as a Google slide, as PNGs. So let's say you wanted to just share this as like a post, right? What you're putting out here. Like let's say you wanted to use the images as posts on Instagram or posts on LinkedIn, you could do that as well. And don't forget that we looked at the templates earlier, so you can make content with this. 
And you have this collaborate option here, which will allow you to add different workspace members to this. You can add other members to work on this. You can share this by copying the link and people can view it like right inside of Gamma as well. All right, so that was just quickly what I wanted to show you with that. But if we go back to the present, there's one other thing here that if I don't point this out now, I'm going to forget. Here where you see this spotlight option, I like this because I feel like you could use, for example, this presentation and do what I'm doing now where you're just talking over uh, a topic or something and use one of these presentations to guide you through a video, right? So just hear me out. If I hit space here, it goes to the next part. Now, if I wanted to use this, for like a presentation in a video, I could say, hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about why onboarding matters. And the first thing I wanna talk about is reduced initial churn. And the next thing I wanna talk about is increased product adoption. And the next thing would elevate customers' lifetime values. I think you guys can see what I'm trying to get at here. It's like kind of interactive. So I wanted to point this out because I think it, you could get creative with some of these features, which is what I like to do with AI tools. So let's exit this view once more. Let's look at some of the other options we have to customize our gamma. So over here to the right, you're going to see that you can add images, you can add videos and media, you can embed apps and web pages, you can include charts and diagrams, uh, you can add forms and buttons, which is great for lead generation. Up here, uh, you've got card templates. If you click on this, it's just going to show you that there are different layouts you can have for your cards by using these templates. And these card layouts, here you can see the ones that include images collected sequences, just different things that you can mess around with to really get that content to look the way you want it to. Now, over here on the actual slide or on the card, you're going to see that at the top right, there are two icons. So you can change up the styling directly from here, or you can edit with AI directly from here. So this is the quickest and easiest way to generate a presentation, a piece of content, a document, a lead magnet, basically this, you could export it as a PDF, not this specifically, but let's say whatever you're working on or building, you can export it as a PDF and share with people as a lead magnet. So I think we all can agree that the generate option is powerful and helpful, but it is just a starting point. Let's say you have content. You already have a bunch of content that you put together for a lead magnet, for a guide, for a course, for a product, um, but you just want to spruce it up. You don't understand how to use Canva or you don't want to use Canva to do all that. You can use Gamma. There's two ways to do this, and these are the two ways that I like to use Gamma. So I like to use this paste and text option because I can control the text that I'm putting in there, right? So I can really fine tune it and make it sound more like me, really personalize it, and use that text in here to generate my Gamma. Let's go back and let's also look at this import file URL. Now, here's a little hack I like to build stuff inside of LLMs and then export PDFs from that, export notes from that. I literally will put them all into a folder and then use that, upload that in here and build out gammas with that. Now I've done that with some of my lead magnets and I plan to do that going into the future because it allows me to really build something that has a lot of value. You can also import from your Google Drive, so Google Slides and Docs, and you can also import URLs. So that's great because you can import a web page, blog posts or articles, and a notion doc and it says public only so take that into consideration but you could import a notion doc that you use as a digital product and include a guide to go with it and build that guide out in here in gamma for example now let's say none of this is working for you just remember that we do have that paste in text option that you can create with that we looked at earlier so that is gamma and this is a quick overview this is a great tool i think everybody needs to go try it out go try and build something create some lead magnets really hone in and pump it with value and create that digital product. Now, once you have that digital product, there are many ways to start selling it. Now, one of the beginner friendly ways is Gumroad. If you use Gumroad, you can host the digital product there and sell it directly through Gumroad. One thing to take into consideration that it is a free solution and they do charge fees for sales, right? So they don't charge you up front, but once you get sales, they'll take a percentage of those sales. But that's one option to start selling today and start making money from zero using Gamma for free. Use social media to promote it completely for free. AI and LLMs to identify the pain points you're gonna solve for your niche, audience, or clients. And remember, they're looking for solutions. You just need to solve one problem clearly. Now, if you wanna build your products with me step-by-step, step, click the link down in the description, and I'll guide you through everything from idea to design to launch, 
It's all right there waiting for you. Also, a reminder that the links to gamma.app are in the description and in the pinned comment below. And if this video helped you, give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below what kind of digital product do you want to create. And remember, you don't need to be perfect. You just need to start. Keep it simple. Take action. You guys got this. If you're interested in making sure those lead magnets or digital products and all your outputs from ChatGPT sound like they were written by a human, then check out the video that's showing up here on the screen. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.